Look at that, they have freaking signs on the road that say Dragon Slayer 160. I don't even think Tale of the Dragon has that. They said if you see garbage, that's because the bears go and get the garbage and drag it out into the road. I'm like really picturing that there's gonna be a bear in the middle of the road. What the hell do you do? Oh man, tell me. <laughs> now I'm expecting it like it's gonna happen. Holy shit, that's a bear. That's a cub. That's a big bear. But I gotta do the Dragon Slayer. Ah, oh, there, here's the question. What do you do if there's a bear? Me, man. I'm sitting still and there might be other bears real close to here. Oh no. I know it's been a while since I rode the bike, but I didn't think it was that long. Only a month and two weeks, battery is dead. Luckily, I bought a battery tender jumper box. I'm not prepared at all. It's been dead too. New power bank, 30,000 milliamp. Old power bank, phones, batteries, everything's dead. Well, this battery's not dead. It's been like a month and a half, two months since I rode my bike. Every time I get on Facebook, I see posts for Tail of the Dragon, Dragon Slayer, Back of the Dragon, Head of the Dragon. I think it's time for a road trip. Cheers. Knee pads for knee dragging that dragon. Hope that works, 51%. There we go. Always good to have one of these with you. I don't know how many times I use this, not just for myself, but there's been at least three times people have needed jumps. When I was in Florida, a woman needed a jump, but I got them. This is also a wireless charger, USB, USB-C. Definitely want these on trips. Look, it didn't even take any power away to start my bike. <laughs> please start <laughs> please 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 start oh thank you i don't know where it stops they said it's one road so even i won't get lost i guess what's up Bob? hey how are you good i was wondering how do i know when it's over oh no oh <laughs> You, It'll tee? Yeah, and you're going to turn left or right. If you're hungry, uh, you can turn left and go to the red light and turn right. I'll take you in a big stone gap. Uh, cool vibe, cool place to eat called Kirkland's. Okay. Uh, I highly recommend a stop there. It starts with a C. So take a left, take a right. Yep. Enjoy yourself. All right. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yep. See you guys in a bit. This is only at 50%. That should be good for 22 miles. This is only 22 miles and now we have a food place, food destination. I would take my picture with the bike and the dragon. Took a ton of pictures already, but not with the bike yet and me because we got to slay it first. Can't be taking pictures beforehand. First, you got to complete the mission. My first dragon adventure. I've not rode my bike in a month and a half. Sorry, baby. I will get you a battery tender now. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I will get a battery tender. The building across the street with the knight that says Dragon Slayer on it, uh, that's owned by the mayor. And he's redoing it to make a bed and breakfast. So soon there will be a place to eat straight across the street as well. There's a coffee shop down the street. 
I asked if they were going to put like a cafe or something and they mentioned that and I was like, oh yeah, small town, you don't want to like, you know, go against your neighbors and stuff. That's not cool. So, totally understand that. <laughs> that poor kid. He told me so much stuff and we went through so many different things. And then, oh, 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 that was a rough road. <laughs> and then my camera was on the wrong setting. Ah, at least I figured it out before I left. We can't go back in time and get all the cool stuff that was said. Because he was saying, unlike the other dragons, this one's nice because there's no traffic. My question is, how's the police? Oh, there's no police. You don't have to worry about that. I said, all right, if I get a ticket, I'm bringing it back to you. <laughs> of course, he didn't agree to that part. He told me the speed limit's 55, <laughs> which we are doing less than that so we're good look at that they have freaking signs on the road that say dragon slayer 160. i don't even think tale of the dragon has that but this is a non-profit agency i think the government gives more leeway with things like that tires aren't warmed up yet i haven't rode in forever so we'll just take it nice and slow for now at least this will charge my battery and there are actually a lot of riding roads around here he is getting ready to tell me more of them. <laughs> like, hold on, hold on, I can't do everything today. I just want to concentrate on the task ahead. Slaying this dragon on my black steed. More like a bull, so big. Wow, never thought of myself as a knight in shining armor. Oh, yeah. To slay the dragon, does that mean I have to do it real hard? Or just ride it? <laughs> I think just riding it completes the task. Garbage, what the freak? They said, if you see garbage, that's because the bear's going get the garbage and drag it out into the road. So if you see garbage on the side of the road, bear. And they're really common. Like you can see them like everywhere, walking in between your houses, people mowing the lawn, the bear just walks right by. They're so accustomed to people out here and some people feed them, they're not afraid. I was thinking I could just rev my engine and scare the bear away, but Maybe not. Maybe I need an air horn on this bike as well. Uh, this must be where she was talking about the road patches. She said, be careful, there's a bunch of road work. But once you get into Virginia, it's all clear. Smooth roads in Virginia. Oh yeah. This is what I needed. This is what I was missing in life. Some throttle therapy. And to itch my nose. Oh man. Oh, maybe this is the one she's talking about. <laughs> Look at that cliff drop off. I ain't scared of these roads if I see a bear. Well, that's not true. You hit a gravel road, you're gone. This is a nice road. It'd be great with fresh pavement, but even the way it is so far, it's pretty nice. I'm like really picturing that there's gonna be a bear in the middle of the road. What the hell do you do? Traumatic childhood experiences. What do you do if there's a bear in the road? Do you stop and try to turn around? You try to go around them? Like, what the hell? Rev the hell out of the engine? No, you might piss him off. He might think it's growling. The growl of the Yoshimir is on here. Oh man, tell me. <laughs> now I'm expecting it like it's gonna happen. Outlook. Oh, so you got them here too. I asked them if they were scenic and they said yes. I guess they weren't lying. Like actually, right where I slept last night, there's bears there. And <laughs> they said there's a cave right there in the mountain. And it's like, 50 feet away? We're supposed to be talking about dragons, not bears. Breaking pavement. Okay. This? Yeah, I'm definitely like, not racing this road. You screw up, you're dead. <laughs> so, if you wreck out here alone, you're bear food. Dude, the bear's gonna get you before an ambulance finds you or someone else finds you and calls an ambulance. <laughs> Don't wreck on the dragon slayer. Ugh, there we go. All right, I think 55 is plenty for this road. If you're going faster than that, you're way more skilled of a rider than me. Oh, slide. See, gravel. We're not even leaving second gear on this one. Like I do want to give it a little bit more, but it's been a lot of gravel and brakes. See, as soon as I start hitting the gas. 
Oh, it's a beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. I thought it's going to be hot, and I know it's still early, but this feels great out here in the mountains. Very cool breeze. Hot sitting still, though. When I was at the Welcome Center, I took my hat off and I almost had blood just poured down my head. It felt like it. Sweat just poured down my face when I pulled my hat off. I didn't even know I was sweating. Hey, how you doing? Black Mountain something. Oh, gravel. Welcome to West Virginia. Wow, scenic, huh? Let's take a look real quick. We're on a hill, but don't fall. Don't fall, okay? I don't trust it. I want to go look. I'm not shutting the bike off right now. Oh, wait, there's a break right here. We can see. Okay. <laughs> That's what we're looking at. Jeez. I didn't know we had stuff like this here. I was going to say in Kentucky, but this ain't Kentucky no more. Scenic. All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the Philippines. Riding the road with lots of overlooks. She said the road's good now. It's downhill. I don't like riding downhill. My back tire on my Ninja used to slide out on me. And though I haven't felt to do that going downhill on this, it makes me weary. Oh, it's backfiring. I love it. <laughs> Last night, when I got to Lynch, Kentucky, there was like, <laughs> there was a girl broke down with the hood up on her car, and she was under her car in a dark parking lot all by herself. Yeah, that's kind of like sketch as hell, right? That's, that's bad boys, man. Ever since bad boys, everybody knows that's the setup. You stick a girl out with a broken down car and damsel in distress. <laughs> and then when a guy comes to help her, you jack him or you get jacked, however you want to look at it. So anyway, I would feel bad not to do, holy fuck, that's a bear. That's a cub. That's a big bear. Uh, uh, we're not doing Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Shit, he's watching me, dude. <laughs> but I got to do the Dragon Slayer. Oh, there, here's the question. What do you do if there's a fucking bear? <laughs> I'm not in a car, dude. Where'd you go? Are you like gone, gone? Fuck me, man. Fuck. I'm sitting still and there might be other bears real close to here. I don't know what to do right now. There's a... There's a bear. <laughs> like, there's a bear, dude. There's a bear over here with cubs in the street so I, I don't know what to do right now are you going back or are you going go so you're not gonna take the chance don't take the chance okay huh I'm trying to debate because I want to finish the road but I don't know if I should just give the give it time it was crossing the road all right, ride safe, man. Yeah, I think I have to do it, right? Fuck, man. Make the bike backfire. Oh, shit. I don't even remember where it was at. Did I pass it? Fucking gravel. I must have passed it because... I don't remember gravel. Unless it was this turn. <laughs> oh, great. Turns you have to go slow on. These are cliffs. Did the bear go down a steep cliff like that? Or they just chilled on the side of the road and was like, screw it. See, he's such a nice guy. Warned him there's a bear instead of letting him take the chance. <laughs> like, here, you go scare the bear away. I'll zip around after it grabs you now. <laughs> Just because I made it past that set of bears doesn't mean that there's not going to be more. <laughs> Shit. Too bad I can't fit a train horn on this bike. Train horn would be on here. Oh, like, yeah, it's common to see bears. I guess so. And I had a feeling I was going to. I didn't have a feeling I'd be mauled or attacked though, so that's good. Oh, just that I'd see some. <laughs> ah, Virginia! Freaking bears. 
on the dragon. Oh yeah, other side of the mountain. They're coming down the mountain. <laughs> Ooh. There's garbage. There's more garbage. So I guess the answer is if you see bears in the road and you're far enough away, you stop and wait. Oh, 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 shit. No bears on the turn, no bears on this hard turn. Holy shit. <laughs> Ah, I do not like bears. Well, bears are fine. I just don't want to be nowhere near them. Scared of snakes? Yes. Scared of bears? Yes. <laughs> Being eaten alive does not sound very good to me. I was almost going to bring my gun. <laughs> and last night, was, oh shit. Even that little bit of rocks I slid on? Yeah, since I'm not leaving Kentucky, I... Oh, I did just now, didn't I? <laughs> wouldn't be good to have a gun on you now. Virginia probably wouldn't like that. I don't even know if I'd feel safer, because it's not like you can get to it while you're riding. If it gets to the point where you need it, the bear's already tackled you off the bike. I guess it wouldn't have been useful anyway. Is this what I have to look forward to with all these roads? <laughs> I want to enjoy the ride. I do. And those is, these are fun lanes. I'm just like super focused. Is there a bear? <laughs> the dude drove by me. I was like, bear. <laughs> How else do you tell people that there's a bear ahead? Adventures. This is what makes you rich in life. Adventures, memories. This is what's being called rich. It's not money. You could die with money, but it don't do you no good when you're dead. But when you're dying, like, yeah, I got all the memories. You know, I guess you could have memories like, yeah, I got all kinds of money. That's probably not a bad memory either, but uh, adventures. <laughs> We're supposed to be talking about dragons. The only thing I've talked about is bears. Tale of the Dragon. That's like world known, right? Everyone knows Tale of the Dragon in Tennessee and North Carolina. Deals Gap, Tale of the Dragon. Then you get these Freeman maps and they show lots of routes. And there are lots of dragon rides, but this isn't one of them. Tale of the Dragon, Back of the Dragon, Claw of the Dragon, and I think Head of the Dragon. Complete those and you get to call yourself Dragon Master. That's dope. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna go beyond that. I'm gonna be more than a Dragon Master. I am gonna slay the dragon right now. And I'm gonna hit the two-headed dragon, eye of the dragon, and all the others with it. Might have to wear like knight armor because of the bears. <laughs> we'll call them dragons. To come around the corner you can't see and it's like BAM BEAR! I mean dragon. I have no idea how many miles we went. I guess it's just gonna be one big surprise when we hit that T in the road and take a left and then a right to eat at a good vibe place. Good vibe. That sounds even better than good food. Of course- oh, oh, oh shit. Of course food matters but having a good vibe. Yeah! <laughs> oh man, that freaking yellow line is slippery. Let's see, there was lots of people were safe, but these dragons, man, they're not afraid of people. They told me that, which hopefully that means when you're driving by, they don't chase you. Unless they're intimidated by the growl of my black dragon I'm on right now. Is that an old bridge? Oh, maybe that's, nope, still a usable bridge. I thought it was like a decaying, rotted one. So here we go. We did it! We survived! We slayed the dragon. I'm gonna do it a lot faster on the way home, but first we're gonna take a left, and we're gonna take a right, and we're gonna get something to eat. Wow, that was quick, 22 miles. Holy crap. That was a really quick 22 miles. It's always faster on the bike. Time just flies by. All right, they did tell me the name of this place. I don't remember it. <laughs> they didn't like give me like real directions like how to get there. I should have paid more attention or asked questions. I didn't even think about it. I'm gonna get lost on the way home. That's where dragons go. 
streams like that. See, at least this road's a bit wider, so if you see a dragon, you can go around it. And as I say that, the road gets thinner. I think maybe he did say Big Stone. That sounds familiar. So it should be in here. And I'm guessing it looks different than the average restaurant since he said it has a cool vibe. I don't remember the name. All right, Big Stone, where's this cool restaurant? Big Stone, Virginia. Tattoo. We were driving to Florida and they were asking like, if you had a tattoo shop, what would you name it? Because there's tattoo shops everywhere in Florida, right? Tourism. And, uh, I can't come up with any names because I'm not creative at all. EJ and Joe came up with some good names. I think EJ's was Instant Regret and they had a few others. Not only am I not creative, I also don't have a good memory. Obviously, I don't remember where, what restaurant I'm looking for, or what kind of restaurant it is, or anything. <laughs> so, yeah. But Instant Regret. What a great name for a tattoo company. Oh, it's hot. <sighs> Dragon Slayer, baby, I did it. I did it, and I'm gonna do it again going back. Hey, yeah, scared of no dragon bears. Is this it? This looks like something with a vibe. I don't think it's any further than this. This looks like it's got cock on the front. This looks like a country store. Biden Harris 2020 with the X. <laughs> yeah, Virginia. I'm just going to turn around because I'm guessing I already passed it. Oh. It would have been cool to eat at the place with the cool vibe. Is that it? That's it. Four Seasons. American Pride and Roots run deep. All right. They even have the police here. See? Marka. Yeah. This is probably it. And we're going to try it. Because I think this is it. Park in the sun. <laughs> oh, this is a different place than that place. I think. Or is it the same? Four Seasons. I would have remembered if he said Four Seasons because, I mean, that's a drink in the Philippines. Oh. Excuse me. Is this the same as the restaurant next door? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so for the restaurant, you go in over there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I don't know. It's kind of country. <laughs> Maybe this is the place? It's got motorcycles on the building. We gotta support them, right? They support us. One week's menu. Looks like drinks. Yeah, I just got the cheeseburger combo with fries. No surprise. Look at all this old stuff. <laughs> There's a bar. Neat idea. Food has arrived. All right, that was a good burger. Yeah, this place isn't bad at all. AC was good, coke was good. <laughs> Sometimes you go places and the coke's flat, so... Weird to say coke was good, but the coke was good. It wasn't flat. I feel like an ass. There's a handicapped parking spot, and I did not know that. And the police kept looking at me the whole time I was here, because there was two cops here. Ah, I, I really, honestly, did not know that I was in a handicapped spot. My apologies. I didn't think about it, but I can use navigation to get back. Maybe it'll tell me, watch out, wildlife in the road. Oh, usually it talks about deers, but could be something else. That's why they say wildlife. Warm the tires back up. It's so hot, they've got to still be warm, but <laughs> just in case. Oh, we're getting close to E. Get stranded in the mountain with the dragons. I guess you would have to do it twice to really slay the dragon because you need to go each side. The curves are different depending on which way you're going. Looks nice. Ah, 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 don't look at the freaking... <laughs> Gas stations! Now we get to see what color is the gas going to be. It's clear! Ah, Supreme two times cleaner engine. Have you had bad gas? Wow, that's fast. Thank you, gas. Don't have to worry about running out of gas there now. That's a good thing. Yeah, 160. There's the police. Ah, there's no police out here. Look at that. Continue on North Inman Street for three quarters of a mile. All right, I said it. We're going to do this one faster on the way home. I can't say I slayed the dragon if I joyride the whole thing. I am actually going to try to 
concentrate on the road instead of bears so that I can actually enjoy the ride that I'm taking. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring my tripod. I was thinking about setting it up spots to go back and forth and catch myself hitting turns. But I guess I, I don't know. <laughs> I said I'm not going to talk about bears no more, but do I really want to stop and set up cameras when this place is infested with bears? Now I see where those smart helmets would come in handy, having the map on your visor. So you don't have to look down and try to... Well, there's all the turns. They're coming. If you could just see it in your visor, you'd be all set and know what's coming. My brother got a spider and he got a HUD put on it. It like digitally projects the speed limit and everything into his windscreen. And I was thinking about getting one, but I'd have to like look way down in to see it. So I guess that wouldn't really do me any good. All right, here we go. Here's the twisty parts. We're still in Virginia, so we have clear roads. Well, I was gonna hit that hard. Good thing I didn't. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Stick that knee out. Come on, scrape. Ah, oh, my knee pads have no scrapes yet. I was trying to scrape on the one day, but my battery was dead. And I swear I leaned so hard with my knee out and never hit the freaking ground. Something just hit my knee. Does that count? Remember that garbage, there's some over here too, see? And then we're gonna hit this right, and after the left we start going uphill, and that's where the bears were. Yeah, I got this place memorized already. Oh, scrape, no? <laughs> I thought I was gonna get a harder one then. <laughs> it's like every time I think I'm gonna scrape, I pull my knee in because I get worried. Oh, there's the gravel. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> okay, it wasn't my knee, but I scraped my foot. Wow, I had my knee out. Why didn't my knee scrape? That's my first time scraping anything, so fucking dope. <laughs> and to think it's not even on my Ninja, which the pegs are lower on. It was on the Busa. Scraping feet, scraping toes. Yeah, I know. You're supposed to stick your toes up on the peg when you go around the lane like this. Come on, hit the knee. Hit the knee. Ah! <laughs> uh, now I'm enjoying. Even though I know I'm getting close to the part where the bears were, I'm enjoying now. Scrape, 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 scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Oh, man. Fuck. <laughs> Woo, dragon slayer. I, I'm officially, I'm calling it. I slayed the dragon. I scraped my freaking foot for the first time. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I'm happy with it. I'm calling it. Ah, trying to get it. Yellow line. Oh, gravel. Nice. I slowed down just in time. I would have took that a lot harder. <laughs> I'm calling it though. I'm calling it. Slayed the dragon. Scrape my freaking toe. I'm ready now. Get that knee to scrape. Get that knee to scrape. Scrape, 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 scrape. Ugh. Not yet. <laughs> someday, someday. I need a Red Bull. If I had a Red Bull, I could be like, oh, well, not that one. Gravel, 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 gravel. Oh, that would have been a good one, huh? Growl, baby. <laughs> Growl, baby. Gravel, you ruined my lean to try to scrape my knee. So on Tail of the Dragon, I heard that it's that people go out there with a leaf blower and one person rides the bike and the other one has a leaf blower and they blow all the leaves and stuff off the road. What do they do about gravel? Same thing? Oh yeah, there's a rock in the road and that could really tear someone up. So even though we don't really want to stop because of the bears, I'm gonna go ahead and move that rock if I see it. I should have moved it the first time. I seen it the first time around. I should have stopped and moved it. Should have turned around. There it is. No bears. <laughs> You're like stopping. There's a cave right there. Yeah, that's crazy. Hopefully it fell off the cliff and nobody put that there because that's a killer, man. That could tear you up. Glad to see that nobody hit it. There's the overlook, which means Mountain elevation 4145. Kentucky, welcome, welcome to, Kentucky. to Kentucky. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We're back. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. I can't wait to stop and look at my shoe. <laughs> There's probably not even a mark on it. It was just a little scuff, but I felt it. It was like, whoa! <laughs> I was expecting my knee, not my foot. 
Oh yeah, welcome to Kentucky. There you go. Come on guys, Dragon Slayer's in Kentucky, the Welcome Center. It's only a million dollars per mile to pave roads. Ridiculous amount. Uh-oh, my knee pad slipped and is not facing the right way. So don't try to scrape me on the left side anymore. Why am I even talking about this? We all know I'm not even gonna touch my knee. My knee pads are fresh. They have zero scratches. I need to just stick them on the side of the road and scratch them up so I can look like I did something. <laughs> Somebody asked me, like, what if you scrape them up? Then what do you do? You don't want to scrape them. Like, hell yeah, I do. I'm not going to replace them. I'm going to wear that shit with pride. Like, that's right. I knee dragged. Not really. Not yet. Not yet. I'm not in a pushing thing, though. I don't like to push my limits. I like to stay in my comfort because something looked like it was moving up here. Because it ain't worth it, dude. I ain't Rossi, I ain't Marquez, I ain't on no track. I don't need to impress nobody. I need to enjoy. At least they have sign breaking pavement, thank you. And it's so easier to do stuff on my Ninja 650 where it's a two cylinder. You can rev match easier, you can backfire it easier. Same concept on this bike, but a lot harder to pull off. I guess if you cross the yellow line, that means you got bit by the dragon. They got a hit on you. <laughs> wasn't a flawless victory oh look at this i didn't even think about it i'm doing curves going downhill i mean i'm not like the same as going uphill but still dude those could be some cool shots like if i had my camera oh no i'm not setting up out here <laughs> no wonder there's no photographers out here they'll be eaten alive by the dragons I gotta pass the Welcome Center because the 22 mile stretch of the Dragon Slayer starts before the Welcome Center. Not far, but like a couple miles. So we gotta go down the road to make sure we completed the whole thing. I like this road. I didn't get lost once. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, a lot easier. There's no obstacles, like just a fresh road with no gravel. It's probably hard to get considering all the stuff falls off these mountains into the road oh and the bears track it across the road while they walk across there's garbage no that's a road kill that's not garbage eat that bear there's fresh food <laughs> you're like heck no i'm used to garbage can food and people feeding me i don't want raw animal <laughs> seen a bear and still went well if you had asked me before this started if you seen a dragon in the road would you still go and complete the route i would have probably said hell no i'm going back screw that but <laughs> can't say that i slayed the dragon <laughs> if i didn't finish it so <laughs> Ain't like I just kept going. I was like, screw you bears. I didn't stop. Turn around and contemplate. And, uh, yes, we made it back safe. I was starting to get weary on whether I should take this trip or not. You know, the bike didn't want to start when I was leaving Kentucky. When I got here, the bike didn't want to start. Then it got like stuck on the bus in a weird way. And it's like, uh, maybe I'm not supposed to ride this ride. But we did it. We got it. We're safe. Thank you. Thank you. Always grateful for a safe ride. Yay, we made it. We slayed the dragon. Na 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 na. This is where the Your girl was. Is on the left. <laughs> All by herself. So I didn't finish that story because I think that's when the bears were there. But she's broke down, hood open, flashlight. And I'm like, all right, I'll stop and ask if she needs like help if there's anything I can do. And that's sketchy because that's the stuff that gets you caught and in trouble, right? Those are setups, man. Their boyfriend or someone's gonna be waiting for you to come help and come jack you. That's where we ran in the bears last time. So <laughs> finishing the story off, I did stop and ask her if she needed help if there's anything I could do. She said her car was overheating and acting funny and blah, blah, blah. And when she tries to start it, it does this. And she tried to turn over the car, it didn't start it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I guess you're good. Okay, bye-bye. I don't have to feel bad about leaving the damsel in distress and not helping. <laughs> Cause that's sketchy, dude. That's exactly what, I, what the setups are. A girl alone, with a broke down car in a dark parking lot. 
Yeah, humaning 101 tells you avoid that situation. <laughs> Especially in a small town like this, you know, they should probably know somebody if they're from here. But yeah, my dumbass went and checked anyway. But it worked out. And as soon as he tried to show me, he's like, he's like, oh, it started. Okay, cool. You're good. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> we passed the welcome center, I know. This finishes the route. We have to drive down here a little bit more and turn around. And then we rode the whole Dragon Slayer. I'm going to finish this ride. It's kind of boring right here. So let's just get back to the Welcome Center. Okay, here we go. We're back. <laughs> I've seen bears. How many? Uh, probably a mother and its cub. Where? On the road in Virginia. Like close to Kentucky, but down a little bit more. I almost didn't go. I was like, no, nah, I have to. <laughs> Drove all this way, have to. That is it. We completed Slaying the Dragon, Lynch, Kentucky, Dragon Slayer. Slingshot's next.